Welcome back to Goldfish U. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at redoing this shower filter. But first, if you like the video, think about subscribing. It helps the channel out a lot. If you do like the video, hit thumbs up. If you don't like the video, hit thumbs down. That's fine with me. Um, if you've got any comments, suggestions, anything to say at all, post them in the comment section below and I'll get, get back to you with a reply. Um, if you hit the bell notification button, that will inform you every time I upload a new video. And we'll get into this one. So, this filter is driving me nuts. It's a shower filter. If I have my little sieve in here, it backs up really quick. So I'm going to put an overflow in here. So we run straight down into the tank. I've just ordered some egg crates from another YouTuber. He's got a pond supply company online. The company is called www.skegnessponsupplies.com. Go check him out. Really nice guy. And his prices are pretty reasonable. Um, but yeah, go check him out. That's www.skegnessponsupplies.com. So I've just ordered egg crates from him. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the lids out. Probably what I should have done first time around. Cut the lids out, leaving a gap. Probably cut them to about there, all the way around. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're going to cut the bottoms out. At the minute, it's just got loads of holes in. And what tends to happen is the holes get block, blocked up, and then it starts leaking down, leaking down the side of the tub on the outside and dripping down, usually hitting this one and then going all over the floor. So this morning I came in here, the floor was soaked again. So the part of the tank had lost about an inch, two inch of water onto the floor. And I can't keep on having that happening because it's just going to ruin the floor I built. So I'm hoping that's going to solve the, <coughs> excuse me, solve the problem we've got um, by putting some egg crates in. I'm sure it will because what, what I'm going to do is cut the bottoms out, leave a gap on the inside, a gap on the inside like that. And glue in the egg crates, cut them to size, glue in the egg crates, and then put all the media back in. And hopefully they'll sit on the lip of the lid. If that doesn't work, I'll just get new tubs and do it that way around. But we'll give it a go with one and see if it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't, and we'll just get new tubs. Anyway, let's go and look at something much more interesting than that. Uh, <coughs> I think we've got a cough. It's not COVID, you're okay. And you can't catch it through the phone. Right, our little green ass. Oh, sun's right in my eyes. Sorry. Our little green ass. We have to get it out again. I need to put it away. And I'll show you what. Let's go inside. Our spawning mops that we had sat in the tub. This is day six. <clears throat> this is day six, sorry. And we had to put the tank in the greenhouse because the temperatures had dropped quite a lot and I was concerned that the eggs wouldn't hatch so we put a heater in it as well it's running at where's my thermostat oh let me just pick it up sorry about that it's running at oh, wrong way around 26.2 the heat is only on 22 so that means it's getting loads of heat from the sun in the greenhouse so it just works like a small poly tunnel for us but if you can just see down there I don't know if the camera's going to focus. There we go. Baby goldfish. There's loads of them. One there on the pipe to see on the overflow. Just chilling out. Yeah. Show it better on the white than you do on anything else. Anyway, there's loads in here. And they're still hatching. We've still got loads to hatch out. As I said, this is day six. They only started the hatch last night. Or this morning, shall I say. Can't see anything, unfortunately. Not best video, I'm afraid. Look at them all. Loads of them. So we're going to give them three days with the spawning mops in, and then we'll take the spawning mops out, put a filter on here, sponge filter on here, and reduce the temperature on the heater, and then we'll start feeding them. By that point, after three days, another three days, so they would have had nine days, these spawning mops would have had nine days in this tank to grow. Oh, sorry, to hatch. So that should give them plenty of time. What we're going to do with this greenhouse, though, is <coughs> these plastic connectors are rubbish. I don't like these shelves in the way. 
helps to give the greenhouse rig rigidity, but they're just in the way. You can't use all that space. Um, so I'm going to take all this out and build a wood frame on the inside. And that way, we may be able to get 250 litre tanks in here for grow on. Which I think will work quite nicely. And one last look at the little fishies. And this was just a little quick video today explaining what I'm going to do with that filter. Giving a shout out to Skegness Pond Supplies. I'll drop um, his link in the comments section below. Go check him out. I do do him a big favour. Anyway, I'll leave it on that note and I'll see you on the next video. Hope you like it. Cheers. Bye.